Hello Penguinauts, I am the Beardy Penguin and welcome to a Collaborative Warfare bonus video. This episode, we're testing our new secret weapon. Now, uh, this is the Hades, who is obviously god of the underworld and also god of regret. Uh, this plane is quite heavily based off of the TSR-2, which was a cancelled British bomber. Um, it never, well it did fly a couple of times, but uh, it never saw service. Uh, it got cancelled because, well, you don't really need bombers when you've got nuclear missiles and you know you had trident on the way and also the plane had a, a crap ton of problems <laughs> um, but it was a very very interesting aircraft design it was a very very capable aircraft it was a magnificent flying machine um, it had very very small wings very close and it was a very quite a small aircraft as well and uh, it was designed to fly at extremely low altitudes as we are now at Mach 2, that's why it's TSR 2, Tactical Strike Reconnaissance 2 and it would carry a nuclear payload so it would carry two um, tactical nuclear weapons and essentially it was designed to go bomb the Ruskies if World War 3 ever broke out which it never did so we never needed it thank goodness um, but it is still a very cool aircraft so there we go we're just gonna knock down the engine power so I've already pretty much given away what we're testing today Nuclear weapons! Oh yeah, so we, we have, I have said before that uh, we are going to introduce them. Uh, we're introducing them maybe about turn 20 or something. And uh, yeah, this is only a tactical nuclear weapon, so 200 kilotons. Obviously enough to do serious damage, but not enough to blow up half the world. There are bigger bombs. Uh, this is North Kerbin Dynamics is the mod. It adds bombs to uh, BD Armory. And uh, nuclear weapons are part of that. So we need to lose a little bit of altitude. The whole point of it flying low is it flew below the radar. And it flew so fast that it couldn't be shot down. And uh, pretty cool until they invented the thing called nuclear missiles, which are impossible to shoot down at all. And yeah, so <laughs> the project was kind of ditched. So we're already at the edge of, uh, edge of the Arctic here. So I think it's time to drop our payload. We're going to slow down a bit because we're going to be, you know, be turning quite sharply. Yeah, we, we've flown to the edge of the Arctic remarkably quickly. This is a very fast aircraft. It doesn't have a huge amount of range, but uh, it's very good. And bombs away. Okay, turning away immediately. We need to make sure that our crew don't see the flash because they will get blinded and that would be very bad. And also we need to get as far away as possible. Oh god, there it goes. Boom! Oh, beautiful! Look at that mushroom cloud! Yikes! I cannot wait to unleash that on tape. And yeah, it's not particularly stable, so it's a little bit glitchy. So you're just going to have to forgive it for that. On the edge of my load distance, it's now following me. <laughs> um, it's quite a glitchy mod. Um, it's still a very heavy work in progress, so you'll have to forgive it for that. But, isn't that awesome? So we're just going to uh, fly back to base, if I can actually... Oh, if I can find... There we go. There we go, South Pole Research Station. So we're going to find our way back to base, while I explain how the nukes are actually going to work in Collaborative Warfare. Uh, when we do introduce them, which uh, is going to be awesome. Essentially, only um, a, a mineral that can be only be found on the moon um, powers these nuclear weapons so in order for someone to create a nuke they have to go to the moon and have to get some ore so they'll have to have a moon base and that obviously means moon combat which is gonna be epic um, can I close some of this yeah there we go so moon combat which is going to be amazing uh, furthermore we're not going to let them be too overpowered. So when someone launches a plane carrying a nuclear weapon or a nuclear missile, they have to leave it on the pad for a turn and then launch it next turn. So they're going to need to protect it for a turn. That gives someone a chance to actually stop them launching it uh, because they're going to be catastrophic. If a nuclear weapon hits a base, then that base is wiped off the map. It's removed from collaborative warfare permanently. So nobody can ever use that base again. <laughs> so uh, we need to lose quite a lot of altitude, actually. There we go. We'll cut the engines. This thing accelerates insanely fast. I'm actually quite proud of this. 
This is a good, good little aircraft. Um, but anyway, so obviously they're not going to be used an insane amount because you kind of want bases. You don't want to be wiping bases off the map um, too, too often. And also they're going to be very heavily frowned upon. And obviously um, you need to protect them for a turn and everything. So they're going to be difficult to make. Also, when you launch them, you can't launch anything else that turn. You, have, you can only launch the plane or the missile. And then you have to protect it, and you can't launch anything else that turn. So, they're not going to be that overpowered. And I'm probably only really going to be using them as insurance to stop tape nuking me. Um, but we'll almost certainly see quite a few nuclear detonations. And um, I, I like my tactical bombers, so I'll probably be using tactical nuclear weapons. But knowing tape and his big bombers, he'll probably be using uh, hydrogen bombs. And those are massive. Like you need a larger than Mark III um, plane to carry those. But seriously, <laughs> they they can blow up half of Kerbin. Um, they're seriously powerful. So he'll probably be using those. Maybe, and if he goes to war with Twitchy, he could probably bomb the KSC with that and um, take out KSC Island as well. Dear God, we might have to have separate rules for for hydrogen bombs over just. Um, over kiloton bombs because obviously hydrogen bombs their explosive yield is mega me measured in megatons not kilotons because they're so insanely powerful <laughs> so that's thousands of times more powerful than the bombs dropped on Nagasaki and Hiroshima uh, so we might have separate rules for them we're not introducing them anytime soon and that's because it does require the latest version of BD Armory uh, we're going to use legacy targeting so we won't have to update all our stuff but we're not updating BD Armory for a little while I should have put parachutes on this thing Oh dear, oh dear, going way too fast, way too fast. Oh, oh, we landed, we did it! Oh god, we're tilting over to the side though. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> we lost, we lost some of the plane. <laughs> yeah, I've never landed that thing before, so I'd say that's not bad for a first test of the, of the plane. But the nuclear weapons, holy crap, that's going to be cool, but uh... Until then, I'm the Beardy Penguin. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.